In Windows 11, you can enable a notification setting called Do Not Disturb that will send your notifications to the Notification Center rather than popping up and alerting you. There are two ways that you can enable it. If you open the Notification Center by clicking on the clock in the lower right corner, you can click this Do Not Disturb button at the top of the panel, which will immediately put your computer into Do Not Disturb mode. If you want to disable Do Not Disturb, just click it again. The other way to enable Do Not Disturb, and also customize it a bit, is to click on the Start button, go to Settings, and then click on System in the left column if it's not already selected. To the right, click Notifications, and here you'll see Do Not Disturb. Click the toggle to the right of it and it'll be enabled. A couple items down, you'll see Set Priority Notifications. Click on this, and you'll be able to specify certain apps and features that you can be notified about immediately even when in Do Not Disturb mode. This includes incoming calls and reminders. You can also add specific apps that you always want to be notified about. Just click Add Apps and click on the app that you want to add. If you ever want to remove an app from this list, just click the three dots to the right of it and click Remove. You can also set Do Not Disturb to enable and disable automatically. Back on the Notifications screen, click Turn On Do Not Disturb Automatically. There are a few different options for when it should enable. You can have it enable whenever you're duplicating your display, playing a game, using an app in full screen mode, and for the first hour after a Windows feature update. Just check or uncheck the boxes next to the options that you want to use. You can also check the box next to During These Times, and then set a schedule for when Do Not Disturb should turn on and off on its own during the day. And you can have this repeat every day, or only on weekends, or weekdays. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site, and don't forget to subscribe.